So a very, very important concept when we're talking about fully managed databases, especially NoSQL databases, is consistency. When am I going to see my data? When, am I, when is it going to be consistent across all the servers that it's replicating uh, data to? So Azure Cosmos DB provides five different consistency levels to maintain data availability and querying performance depending on your requirements. And so we have this nice graph to kind of, or graph, um, uh, yeah, graph to help visualize um, the five levels. So on the left-hand side, we have high latency, lower availability, the worst read scalability. And on the right-hand side, we have lower latency, uh, higher availability, better read scalability. So it's gonna be based on what you need and so we'll start with the first one, which is strong consistency level. So this is linear reliability. Reads are guaranteed to return the most recent version of an item. So strong means a guarantee that what, what you read is what you get, okay? Um, but the latency is gonna be higher, so it could be a bit slower for it to get back to you. Uh, then you have boundless staleness. So this is a consistent prefix. It reads, uh, reads lag behind writes uh, by most K prefixes or T intervals. So just understand that it's a bit better than strong. We have session, so it has a consistent prefix. It's uh, monotonic reads, monotonic writes, read your writes, write, uh, write follows reads, okay? I know this might not make sense, but don't worry, we're gonna go through all of these still, we're not done, we'll go through the list and then we'll go in more detail on all these. You have consistent prefix, so updates, returns, are, are some prefix of all updates with no gaps. Um, you have eventual, so out of order read. So uh, you might read something and depending on what um, partition it hits or what um, uh, a replica it hits, the data might not be all, all up to date. And so the way you're gonna set your consistency is you're gonna just choose it here and there'll be additional options. This is honestly really confusing. Again, I'm gonna keep comparing AWS AWS DynamoDB, but AWS DynamoDB, it's not as complicated, right? Or even like AWS S3, where it's just like, it's it's eventual or it's consistent. Um, so you can see there's a lot of options here, but you know, of that flexibility, you have more choices, I guess. So let's talk about all these again. So strong consistency, read operations ensure that the most recent data is returned. Read operations cost the same as boundless staleness, but more than session and eventual consistency. Uh, write operations can only uh, be read after the data has been replicated by most replicas. When they're talking about costs, I, I guess they mean like the cost to retrieve information. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, again, I didn't see on the exam about costs with consistency levels, but uh, this is the language that is being used in the documentation. So that's why I'm bringing it over. For boundless staleness, read operations are lagged behind write operations due to time or version differences. Read operation costs the same as strong consistency and more than session eventual consistency, has the highest level of consistency compared to session consistency, consistent prefix consistency, and eventual consistency, recommended for globally distributed applications with high availability and low latency. So remember, it's for globally distributed applications. We have session, so read operations uh, ensure that written data is consistent with the same session. Consistency is scoped to a user session, while other users may encounter dirty data if another session has just written to it. Uh, it's the default consistency, consistency level used to uh, when using a newly created database. Reading costs are lower than boundless staleness and strong consistency, but higher than eventual consistency. We have consistent prefix. So read operations ensure that the most recent data replicated among the replicas is returned, but it does not guarantee the data is the most recent. Uh, the idea is we have dirty data occurs when one replica changes the data state, but this data has not yet been replicated. They keep using the word dirty, just meaning like when you replicate, when you have that piece of data and it's stored in multiple places uh, redundantly, some of them are dirty, so they're not all up to date. Uh, has a stronger consistency level of eventual consistency, but less than any other. Then we have eventual read operations does not guarantee any consistency level, lowest consistency level, Low, lowest latency and best performance among consistency levels. So things are really fast. Least expensive read operation uh, cost compared to any other consistency levels. So there you go. There's all the levels. Um, you know, hopefully that makes sense. Again, it's very confusing, but there you go.